Now I want to focus on something that might be absolutely crucial as to who formed governments after May the 18th. We all know the major parties are on the nose and that minor parties and independents have been reaping the benefits. The latest polling shows at least one in every four voters will be avoiding Labor or the Coalition to vote for the Greens, One Nation, United Australia or a clutch of independents. Now, it's these independents we need to look at. They are people like Karen Phelps, who won the Wentworth by-election last year, pretending to be a Liberal light candidate, but who obviously is more of a Green left activist. And candidates like Zali Stegall, who wants to unseat Tony Abbott, and also pretended to be a Liberal light before admitting she'd never voted Liberal in a federal election. Then there's Rob Oakeshott, who won a seat in federal parliament as some kind of conservative independent, then helped put Julia Gillard into power in 2010. His electorate was so disgusted by that decision that Oakeshott didn't have the guts to recontest the next election. But he's running for the neighbouring seat of Cowper this time, and again, of course, would be expected to be sympathetic to Labor. These independents, 15 of them all up now, are working together and have even put together a joint advertisement coordinated by hard-left journalist and activist Margot Kingston. Take a look. I ran as an independent because I'm sick of the two major parties. People are tired of the political game playing of the major parties. I want action on climate change. I want action on climate change. I, I want, want action, action on, on climate, climate change. change. I'm fighting for real change for my local community. Not party funders, lobbyists or corporate interests. We are independents. We'll cooperate and share resources where we can. We also have autonomy and the freedom to disagree with each other. Julia Banks of Flinders. Kingston for Hume. Yates for Kuyo. Dr Karen Phelps for Wentworth. Pesek for ACT Senate. Miller for Lyme. Stegall for Warringah. Mack for Farrah. Sharkey for Mayo. Kingston for Mallet. Thompson for McKellar. Blakester for New England. Oakshop for Cowper. Rookie for Clark. Bauer for the Senate in New South Wales. So, as Tony Abbott has noted, if there are 15 so-called independents working together, they're more like a new political party. These so-called independents are actually a new green left force. And the critical question is one that few of them will answer. If they're elected and there's a hung parliament, as is highly possible, who will they support to form government? They're asking people to put them into parliament, but they won't say who they will help to form government. Let me give you the strong tip. Whether it's Rebecca Sharkey in Mayo, Oakshot in Cowper or Stegall in Warringah, they will put Bill Shorten into the lodge. That much is obvious. They all pretend there is no climate action now and demand more action. This is the Labor line, the Labor lie, if you like. Australia is already committed to the Paris targets, but these independents want to do more. And they can't say how much it will cost, how it will increase your cost of living or how it will improve the climate. And they will support Labor forming government in order to deliver this climate and energy experiment. That much is clear. We've asked many of them if they will rule out backing Labor. And we've only got two responses so far. Oakeshott says he doesn't rule out supporting either side. And former Green Wilkie also leaves it open but rules out any deals. Just remember, if you vote for these independents, you are voting for a Labor government. I know it, you know it and they know it. They just refuse to tell you.